Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel All Tech Queries. And today I'm going to show you how to run Control Panel as admin. So this Control Panel has some of the essential tools and services. But if you are logged in using another user, then you won't be able to access all the tools in the Control Panel. Uh, even if you are able to access them, you won't be able to alter them. So you won't be able to make much changes if you are logged in using another account. So only admin has the rights to make changes in the control panel settings. So let me show you how to run control panel as admin. So let's begin. So usually for any program if you want to run it as admin you have to follow this procedure. So let me show you first you have to right click on it and it is going to open the file location. Now from here you are going to right click on the application and go to its properties and go to this advanced option and here we are going to find the option to run as administrator but in this case this option is disabled so i have a trick here using which we can enable this option so let's get on with that okay let me close all this so the trick is to make a shortcut of control panel so how to make a shortcut of control panel let me show you so right click on your desktop click on new uh, if you hover over this new option you will get a sub menu and here you need to choose the shortcut option and here there are three ways you can create a shortcut for control panel simply type control and click on next and click on next again so as you can see the control panel shortcut has been formed so the second method is go to this same shortcut and you can browse here okay the usually it is located in c windows and system 32 if you scroll down you will find the control option here so here we go so you can browse it like this okay and click next and click next again so here another shortcut is found or you can let me show you the third meter now go to this shortcut and you can simply copy paste this one this location here and click on next click on next again so the shortcut is created so either way you can use any method to create the shortcut now right click on the shortcut go to its properties now go to this advanced option now here you can see the option is enabled here so enable this option click on ok now apply and ok now open it now it, it is going to ask you now ok so this message will only appear if you have if you are running a program through admin so click on yes and now you are able to access the control panel as an admin so you can make any changes and you can change any settings as an admin now so this is the permanent method and you can also i mean i'm also going to show you another method so simply right click on this shortcut and here you can find the option run as administrator and click on yes so it is a simple this is a temporary method and if you go to this properties change this advanced setting so this is the permanent method so you can use any method you like so that's all for today guys i hope this video was helpful if you think this video was helpful then click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel all tech queries thank you for watching